So I'm here making a little quick tutorial about how to use flow frames. It's like everybody keeps asking me, why do your videos look so smooth? How do they look so awesome? I'm about to unveil some real shit, okay? Some unveil, some big shit, okay? So a lot of people in the Valorant community, I picked this up from Valorant Apex Legends people. They do this, um, Minecraft people do it sometimes, but like this is how you make your videos like mega smooth. The FGC, it makes, it makes some things really good. So if there's a lot, like for 3D fighting games, it's perfect. Because if you're doing a lot of scene transitions where you're like moving the camera a lot, it makes that that transition really smooth. Um, and it makes it like overall, because it's making it from like 240 frames per second to 60. So this is kind of thing. So we're going to start. We have our project, right? It should be whatever, you know, like you have your project, you have it edited, you have it rendered. So you're going to go ahead and render this just normally. So you have a, just a raw video. I already have this rendered. This is a previous project I have. You can call it whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Um, you can just make it a, like a little montage or whatever. Um, make sure it's in 60 FPS or five po uh, 59 point whatever Vegas gives you. This, this guy's also for Vegas. It's not for adobe there's an adobe premiere one um i don't use adobe premiere because i don't like giving adobe money um and i prefer vegas anyways because that's what i'm used to anyways um so we have our stuff and so you're gonna render that right you want to get flow frames now flow frames you can just google search it you'll find it first thing you find it looks a little sketchy download but it's not really it's just the way it is i think it's like a source verge link um so we're gonna, so we have our little finished projects. You throw it in there, whatever the video is, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna put it into like four times. It's gonna be, leave everything. You want it in image sequence. Um, I find the best results with image cause it'll put it on like MP4 and I just find image sequence to be the best. Um, you can turn off like preview and stuff to make it like a lot easier, but you definitely want it to be four times so it's 240. And so you're gonna interpolate that, uh, and then we'll come back when it's done interpolating. I'm gonna just do it because I need to reinterpolate this anyways. So I'll be back. Okay, so you have your recording finished, and it is now interpolated. Mine took like three minutes. Your results may be different, and uh, make sure to um, make sure that you have like a beefy computer when you're doing this, or it will turn off. Um, I had a problem with my CPU. It gets really hot and it will shut off um but that's only if you like really bad cooling but i don't have that problem anymore so let's go back to the thing uh with the image sequence you want to delete the video so just do click it unlink it uh with you and then press delete and then you should be there so you want to go to the little folder thing uh the little folder icon you want to go find your little uh where did it go i need a preview Oh, right. It's going to be in uh, finished media product. And then, so you want to click the, the first image in that sequence, find where the, wherever it's going to do, it's going to flow for instance, it's usually going to output wherever you put that file. So make sure to keep it on. Like it takes a lot of space. Like, I think this is like, let's just check. This is 3.58 gigabytes for something that is 12 seconds. So it's going to eat up a lot of space. Um, on so just make sure you have a lot of space to just like kind of let it go and uh i would only use this for like montages so something that's like 10 minutes max not like an hour i would not do an hour um but i would like invest into like a hard drive or something somewhere where you can just store a bunch of space anyways you want to click open sequence that's very important and then the first image and then go that way and then most of this is fine uh, make sure this is 60 frames, of course. It's going to make this way big. And you're like, what is this? This is why you have the audio. So you can see exactly where it needs to end. And then you want... And so I would take that finished project and put that video up there so that you can just kind of like wrap the audio where it needs to be on the video. Anyways, so you want to make this playback, playback rate four because, um, you know, four times. It's the max you can go anyways. You can't go any higher. Um, and then you want to do frame blend. Um, that's my best bet. 
And so it'll make like the little zigzag line. And then you want to do, you want to click the end of the audio, trim it to end, and then it's going to be like that. Also, um, fun thing, uh, make sure resample mode is on flame, uh, frame blend and it should be fine. It should turn out fine and it should be, you know, that's what it needs to be. If you don't have it on, it won't do it. It won't do, it won't blend those extra frames that you du duplicated. So we're just going to call this, I don't fucking know, but like, let's just call it E. Yeah, it's E today. Um, and then you render it and it should turn out fine. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a little um, sample recording to show you what it looks like at the end. <laughs> 